Hey guys, Trevi here with the security vulnerability to show you. What I'm going to be showing today is a Android permission elevation and information leak possibility. This information has been released to HTC on the 24th and per the RFP responsible disclosure policy, I will be opening it to the public five business days later on the 30th. Um, what I'm going to be showing is a stock EVO 3D running 2.08, which is the latest update to the uh, EVO 3D on a non-rooted phone. Nothing has been done to this uh, up to this point. I'm going to be going through the setup to show you guys clearly what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I'm going to skip through the first couple things here because we don't care about data or sync. Uh, the first screen I'm going to stop on here is locations. I don't know if you guys can see the checkboxes from the video quality on the Evo 4G, uh, but both of these are checked and I'm going to leave them on for now so we can get back some uh, GPS location. Okay, let's go to the next screen. Let's agree to this policy. Um, the Tel HTC is the setting that has been in question here. I'm going to turn this setting off here, um, and according to HTC, the app usage stats log should not build after we do this. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, the setting is off now, and I'm going to finish that up. Okay, now that Sense is up, we're going to go into settings here. First thing I'm going to do is just uh, turn the display timeout off. So I don't have to deal with that. Now let's go back here. We're going to go to applications. I'm going to turn on unknown sources uh, because my application is not in the market yet, uh, although that shouldn't have any effect on this uh, service here. Next thing I'm going to do is go into development and turn on USB debugging. I need this to install uh, ES File Explorer. We'll turn it off again in a second here. So let's go back over here, and I'm going to install ES File Explorer here now. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is open up a shell to show you guys that I am not rooted. Okay, and as you can see, the uh, return here is a dollar sign. Uh, that is a sign for a non-root user, so nothing is fishy here. Okay, let's go back over to the phone. And uh, for the test of this, I'm going to turn USB debugging back off now. Uh, it won't be needed anymore. Okay, uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up a couple applications here. Um, according to HTC statement, we turned off the app usage stats uh, by turning off TelHTC, so none of this should do anything. So let's open up a couple of things here. Okay, that should be good. All right, now I'm going to go into uh, ES File Explorer, and I'm going to install this application. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I wanted to show you guys um, the permissions that it needed. So as you can see, all it needs is network communication, full internet access. So this application by Android Security should not have access to logs, um, GPS locations, any of that kind of stuff. That would have to show up as a special uh, security permission in the screen here. So let's go ahead and install this. Alright, the first thing that you can see when you open this up is that the log CTL port up here is filled in. Um, how we get this information is it sends a get services command to the uh, port 65511 which queries for all other logging services that the phone has. So log CTL seems to be the only thing that accepts any kind of fun commands. So uh, that's the port that we're going to be targeting with this. So let's go ahead and send a help command to see what this service can do. Uh, here's a list of all the commands that it supports. There's a bunch of them. Um, I haven't gotten into all of them yet and uh, only bundled a couple with this proof of concept application. So the first one I'm going to show here is uh, get path. This shows where all our data is getting written out to and if we wanted to go in and pull any of these logs where it would go to. Uh, this is going to data data com that htc loggers htc log. Um, that must mean that HTC Logger APK is the application responsible and what we're talking to right now. So now let's run a bug report. Um, this is actually, right now I'm running the bug report and um, the application will look like it's frozen. I didn't put anything in a background thread or any of that. I did everything in the foreground. But if I wanted to be malicious with this, uh, putting it in a background thread would take two seconds. 
Okay, and here is our full dump state here. As you can see, we have phone information, memory information, CPU. Um, as we go down more, we have more kinds of stats. We have D message events. Um, this file is actually about six lines when you pull it. So I'm only showing the first 3,000 in this application here. Um, any of these though, you can see it's pulling a full system log catalog. It's supposed to require special permissions in order to read. Okay, now I uh, created a command here called get important information. Um, what this pretty much does is it, run it now, um, it will run through the command and grep out anything that we deem important. Um, right now I have it getting location information, phone information, uh, you know, that kind of data. So let's let that run. I'm actually going to pan up from the screen a little bit because my ESN will be shown here and I don't want that put on the internet. Okay, the uh, report just returned here. And on the first screen, I can actually see my ESN, MDN, MEID, MSID, WiMAX, uh, MAC address, carrier, profile, all this kind of uh, information should be restricted in Android, um, but it's clearly displaying it here. So I'm going to scroll a little bit past that and then pay back down here. Okay, the next bits of information that we have are all your location information. This is what I kind of grepped out here. Um, Actually, here is all of your IP addresses, uh, everything that you're connected to, your gateways. Um, if you had Wi-Fi on, you would see neighboring uh, neighboring networks, BSS IDs, all that kind of stuff. So let's scroll down a little bit, and now you can see location. Um, this is, once again, something that is supposed to be restricted to only applications that have access to location. Um, right here, my application only had internet permission so this uh, information should not be visible and as we scroll down a little farther we can see the dreaded HTC app usage stats um, this dumps out how long we ran each app uh, how many times that we ran and a nice list of everything that uh, that we've used um, now like I said as I'm doing this in the foreground now in this application but something could easily put this in a background thread and because we already have permission uh, internet it would be easy to send all this off to a remote web server or do whatever we wanted with it after that. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. Um, I hope that uh, this was informative.